If you follow DJI product development, then you'll know yesterday they released the new DJI Matrice 350 RTK. Now it's an absolute beast. And I went to visit DJI yesterday and spoke to Ben Shirley, head of training and development, and he gave me a personal complete product tour of the new Matrice and it's absolutely fascinating. So let's go listen to Ben. Ben's got so quite an interesting story to tell us. They're the launching a new so, uh, drone today. Second it's not been seen before. Excellent. Yes, we And here it is. Hi, Ben. Hi, How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. So sir. I believe you've got some interesting news for us to share. Certainly have, certainly have. This aircraft is launched as of about an hour and a half ago. Uh, this is the DJI Matrice 350 RTK. This is the follow on the predecessor to the former uh, DJI M300 RTK. So there's been a few improvements to the previous model, uh, which now included this new platform. Like I said, it's been hidden in plain sight all through today. Since this morning, this has been sat on, and most people have been walking past thinking this is the M300, but it's not, it's actually the 350. A few telltale signs we have. Some amendments made to the uh, RTK and GNSS antenna, meaning that we got increased accuracy in positional data. We do have a new set of batteries. These are actually called TB50, uh, sorry, TB65 uh, lithium polymer batteries. Now, in terms of flight time, actually, it's very similar to the current M300. However, they do boast an extra uh, 400 charge life cycle compared to the previous 200 of the, uh, the TB60 batteries. Uh, the aircraft itself has also got an increased uh, ingress protection, which is now IP55, uh, which is an increase on the previous uh, IP45. In terms of the actual payload and configuration options, very similar to the M300. So any sensor which currently fits onto the 300 will also be compatible with the 350. Aside from that, you will notice not a great deal of, of change. There is a new mechanism, which has actually been um, uh, quite a vast improvement on the previous design. These are the cuffs when you secure the, uh, the arms prior to flight. Previously, there have been some, some uh, technical issues with users not securing these uh, uh, appropriately. So they've actually added uh, an additional sensor inside, which now feeds into the, the pilot interface uh, in order to warn them if one of these cuffs is not done up correctly. The controller has also changed, so it's now using the RC Plus, and um, this has previously been uh, released with the DJI M30 series, the smaller brother to this one. Um, much, much better processing unit in there, and so users not only can benefit from the size of the screen in the Android OS, but also all of the function buttons are now physical buttons. Previously in winter time, it used to get a bit more difficult to operate uh, on the soft touch buttons on the screen. Now we've got physical buttons for things like sensor pan, tilt and zoom, all of which are on the rear. It also has uh, its own internal battery and also uh, a hot swappable external WB37 battery. So it means that the command unit can stay powered on. Take that out, internal batteries powering the unit, fresh battery in, and away you go. We also have the standard things like USB-C for interfacing with the likes of the aircraft, the battery charging station, HDMI out, USB and then micro SD as well. So all these ports all closed, maintaining the ingress protection uh, of, the, uh, of the command unit. So a few minor increases on the previous generation, but generally this workhorse has proved itself time and time and again as the 300 this is the next generation, ready to be used in a range of different capacities depending on the sensor configuration, of which you can get optical sensors, thermal sensors, gas detection sensors, LiDAR, you name it, the aircraft will take it. Finally, the other thing to mention is the configuration previously is we got the dual gimbal unit on currently at the moment, and this is the Zenmuse P1 photogrammetry sensor. We can also stick a secondary sensor on the, uh, the second gimbal port there. We can change this out and have the single downward gimbal port and we can also, again using the SDK interface, to have a top mount and gimbal for additional component uh, payload integration. And that is a very quick fly through this aircraft. That's amazing. And um, when's it uh, available for purchasing? So it's available to purchase right away. Uh, we haven't yet received, obviously, because we're uh, dislocated from the office at the moment, so I haven't seen the stocks. Uh, but if you want more information, obviously you can go onto our website, heliguy.com, find out more about the functions, features of the aircraft, and of course, things like pre-order.
That's amazing. Thanks for your time, Ben. And um, if someone wants to actually hire one of these as opposed to buying one, is that also an option? Absolutely, yeah. Providing that you have the necessary uh, qualifications to operate an aircraft of this size, which can either be in the A3 subcategory of the open category, in which case you only need a Civil Aviation Authority remote pilot identification number, which is obtained on the Damares, the Drone and Model Aircraft Education Registration, Registration Education System. Uh, and uh, that allows you to operate that in the A3 subcategory, of course, with EC, uh, sorry, UK regulation EU 785-2004 compliant insurance. <laughs> uh, otherwise, it can be operated in the specific category under an operational authorization issued by the UK Civil Aviation Authority. Uh, yeah, so you, depending on what operating category, of course, uh, leasing is an option, rental, uh, and uh, it means that you can benefit from this technology without the capital uh, uh, capex expenditure. Well, that's super helpful. Thank you for your time today, Ben. Thanks for having And uh, look forward to seeing new developments. Very much so, yeah. Cheers. Thanks, Ben. Thanks. How interesting. Well, he really knows his stuff. And that Matrice is a beast. So I hope you found that really interesting. And a big thank you to Ben for your time. And I really appreciate it. Look forward to talking to you again. To see further videos on drones, you can catch them over here. Show me the love and subscribe to the channel by clicking here and I will see you over there.